Hello everybody. Uh, I want to take this moment to show you how Xbox One backwards compatibility works, or as they call it, back compat. Um, how that works uh, between your Xbox 360 and your Xbox One. Uh, th in this case, I'm going to tell you about what happens if you already own the game and you're already playing it, and you want to continue that progress on to the Xbox One back compat version. Okay, so what you want to do here is go up to all the way over to your settings and then go down to system and go to storage. Now if you're like me, you have a hard drive, you have your cloud storage, which unfortunately is only 500 megabytes right now, and you have uh, an external hard drive. Now recently, because of all the free games, because of all the discounted games, um, the Xbox team put some effort into uh, making some small updates to the 360, one of which was allowing up to a two, up to a two terabyte hard drive or maybe two two terabyte hard drives. I'm not sure. Um, so I actually have one of those hooked up to my 360 and a good number of my games are on there. So once this spins up here, it has to actually uh, read everything which can take a while um, so what you want to do is move your game saves to the cloud storage because that's how the Xbox One um, backwards compatibility thing works um, it's going to access your cloud saves and see that you have one and give you access to it now I'm not sure what happens with multiple saves. Um, so you get into some of the games that have multiple saves. One issue is those saves are also typically quite large. I actually had to move um, some, some of my saves off of the cloud save because um, I was running out of space. So probably the easiest thing to do is go, to go here to all devices and then go to games and apps and so in this case we're going to look at cameo which i believe was a launch title for the 360. Um, i've started it but have not finished it so i'm going to finish it on the xbox one so i go over here to cameo um, and you hit or actually you hit a so if you've downloaded the game you'll see that here if you've downloaded any dlc you see, you'll see that here but what you want to do is take your game save and save it to the cloud. You can tell from the icon that mine's already there, but I'll show you how to do it here. So what you want to do is hit A, go to move, and then choose your cloud saved games. So I'm not going to do that because it's already there. But that's how the backwards compatibility is going to be able to see your game save. Um, so once that's done, you, I mean, you can go and do that for the other games, which uh, for the preview members right as of today is not a huge list, but there are some. Uh, I think Zuma. So I actually didn't do that one yet. So I'm going to do that. Move to cloud save. Doesn't take very long because typically these are small files. That's a 68 kilobyte file for Zuma. I mean, Zuma was back in the days when the arcade games had to be really small. So, you got that done. Then, you go over to the Xbox One, which we'll do right now. Okay, so now I'm over on my Xbox One. And so what we want to do is download Cameo as a backwards compatibility game. So, if you have the disc, you stick the disk in the drive, it sh sees what it is, and it downloads the backwards compatible version to your hard drive. Um, I believe, because I saw this message, that it has to be on the actual hard drive of the console. So this is your time to go get a USB external hard drive and move some of your uh, games for the Xbox One to your external hard drive to make a little room if you need to. I actually needed to, so I did that. So, 
let me back out of here. Whoops. Let me back out of here. So in the case of Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise, I stuck the disc in the drive and it discovered what it was and started downloading the game. So with, uh, with digital games, like uh, I had Cameo as a digital game, uh, you'll see it's already here. But what you want to do is go all the way to the end of your game list. Then over here on ready to install will be stuff that you've deleted from your console before and your backwards compatibility 360 games. Um, so I've basically completed both of the Keflings games, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm, I haven't downloaded Perfect Dark yet. I still need to transfer that save. Um, so Zuma, as you saw, was the one that I uploaded the cloud save for. So I'm going to go ahead and say install. And then right over here, it's queued up to go as soon as uh, Battlefield 4 downloads. Uh, as I record this, the EA Access program is free for one week. So I'm going to download Battlefield 4 and at least complete the campaign and, and play a little bit of PvP. So you can see Defense Grid, the first one I've got there. Um, Banjo-Tooie, I don't own Banjo-Kazooie. Um, so over here on Cameo, I can just go in here and play. And what they've done here is they've created a an emulation of the 360. That's really the only way they could pull it off because they are such different devices. So here you see the 360 is booting up on the Xbox One. Proof, hit your home button, there it is. So we'll go back in here. Um, now it can take a little while to spin up and it will also take a little while to discover your cloud save of the game in question. So, but it is a full emulation. Um, what you can do is hit both of the buttons that are below the Xbox button. I think one is called um, Guide and one is called Menu or something. But anyway, uh, both of those small buttons that are above the D-pad and above, above the right thumbstick, you hit both of those and you'll get the... Oh, hello. I got a 0G achievement. So, of course, this is a rare classic title um, and like I said I believe it's a, a 360 launch title I'm gonna double check that so um, if I hit both of those buttons up pops the uh, Xbox 360 guide and I can go in here and you know see what my friends are doing on the 360 got some friend requests that I haven't answered um, you can start a party. The idea is that multiplayer and everything will work. You can play with your friends on the 360 through this. Um, go in here and see what achievements I need from Cameo. I just got... You've downloaded the winning skin... Oh, yeah. So that was one of the DLCs that I downloaded was a free skin pack. So apparently I got a zero gamer score achievement for that. Now what's funny is that I've completed a portion of the game um, and I got no achievements for it. So starting off with my, sh with my save, I should start earning some achievements since I got basically zero. Okay, so begin or continue a solo quest. I definitely want to do solo. Um, I think I was doing normal because I had no idea how to play this game. And then, new quest, start without saving, I think, yeah. See, I haven't played this since 2010. Um, and I played for an hour. And, yeah. Okay. So, should be able to hit A here. And, do we need any options? Control, map display on. I'm going to say helpful hints. I need some hints. All right, let's play. Um, so what I remember of it is it's a really interesting, um, I guess an adventure game, kind of action adventure. Cameo has the ability to turn into different characters. Let's see if I can do that. Okay. Um, can I talk to this guy here? Yeah, she can 
fly, she can jump. Um, I don't think there's anything else for me to do in here if I can't talk to this guy. How do I talk to you? Eh? Ah! Okay. Well, let's go to the Forgotten Palace, however you do that. Hopefully there's a map. Yeah, so as a launch title, I, you know, when I, I booted it up several years after launch, you know, look, five years after launch, I thought it looked really good. Like, this, this is the kind of thing that would show off what the 360 could do, you know? Do not fear your destiny. Go to the woods, and there you will find the Shadow Drop. Annihilate it, and return the elemental strength to where it belongs. The Watch Drop. Okay. So, how do I get there? That's the question. I bet I can talk to some of these people. You know, and since the controllers are so similar, then the controls are very similar. I, is really if they started doing this with original Xbox games, then there's enough differences between the controllers that that might pose a problem, I think. Uh, just seeing if there's anything else here before I go... Ooh, hello. I wasn't expecting that to be a portal. Ooh, this doesn't look good. What happened was, in the first chapter of the game, you had the ability to turn into all of the different characters. Uh, hopefully they're going to give me some ideas of what to do. We need some light energy. Okay, go over here, maybe? How do I do that? Nope, that looks like it hurts. Oh, man. Ah. Okay. Well, let's do that. tutorial here guys Who's just disappearing Getting my 360 uh, notifications and all that stuff. Maybe I need to be hugged. Well, anyway, that is how backwards compatibility works. 
Uh, it's kind of important to know how to play the game if you're going to have fun with it. But that's how it works with Cameo. Actually, let me... Uh, since I'm not making any progress here, let's go over to... Let's do Viva Pinata. Now, what will be interesting to see is if it does the 360 spin-up again. So, it does each game have its own emulator? Um, I'm thinking that it might. Yes. And... Um, what you'll all, if you're actually wanting to use both consoles at the same time, you can't. Um, if we go back to my 360, uh, if I go back here, yep, see I'm logged out. I'm still logged into the console, but not to Xbox Live. All right, so this is where it's downloading my, this, this game has multiple saves. I don't know why, I don't think I did that on purpose. I think it's part of the game. Um, but yeah, so this is how it goes and looks for your cloud save games. Um, for Cameo, there's only one, so it must have been just a faster process. Um, so yeah, a 2008 game, you can play it just like normal on your Xbox One in 2015. So hope that's helpful, and uh, it's available to anyone who's in the Xbox Preview Program. And it's fairly easy to get into nowadays, but you do have to realize that if you want to, that if you're going to be in the preview program, you get access to these cool features first. But you're also downloading updates on a regular basis. Usually they're like 250 megabytes a week, something like that. But some of them can be significantly larger. So just be aware of that uh, before you uh, sign up for it. So um, if this was helpful, just let me know. Um, and, uh, oh, the other thing to note is that, of course, not every game is available right now. They say 100 games will be done by the holiday season. Um, so what you can do is go to the Xbox feedback page, and you can ask for a game to be moved over. Um, that sets, kind of helps them set their priorities, although I'm sure they may even have the first 100 figured out by now. I'm not sure. Um, and the... The, um, the developer has to approve it, or I should say the publisher, probably. Um, the publisher, or in the case of indie games, the developer. Um, so that, that brings into question whether some games will be able to be backwards compatible. Um, because some developers have gone out of business. Maybe their IP was picked up by another company that might be interested in doing this. Um, but I think it will sell more games. So th there will be Xbox One people who will be looking for a game like Viva Pinata for their kids or something. And they'll be able to find it as a 360 game that's backwards compatible. So that's how that works. Hope you like it. And thank you very much. I can't choose a favorite seed. They are all special to me.